Samsung may have unveiled the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Z Flip 6 this week at the most recent Galaxy Unpacked presentation. While technically impressive, these phones are very much the highlight of Samsung's commercial offers. That job falls to the normal flagship Galaxy S Ultra. We now know more about Samsung's next premium phone, the Galaxy S25 Ultra. The newest information comes from India's Bureau of Indian Standards. While the Galaxy S25 Ultra is expected to appear in around six months, the government agency has certified two batteries for it. Aside from the two-part numbers, EBBS 938AB and EBBS 938AB, the certification lacks any additional specifics. Samsung has employed numerous vendors in past years, thus these two model numbers, like the Galaxy S24 Ultra, are most likely from two distinct sources. Samsung put its whole focus into Galaxy Air features for this year's phones and expects it to continue with the Galaxy S25 series, including the Ultra. As for Samsung's high-end phone, we've already heard that certain camera enhancements may be at the top of the company's to-do list, as the company attempts to demonstrate to Apple what it takes to build the greatest camera phone. It's far too early in the rumor cycle for the Galaxy S25 Ultra to state precisely when the new phone will be released, especially because Samsung is concentrating on a July 10 event to announce new foldable phones. Outside of an early 2025 release date for the Galaxy S25, your estimate is as good as mine. However, in recent years, Samsung has steadily shifted earlier the release date for the Galaxy S series, which was formally scheduled for February or Mac. This year's Galaxy S24 release was the earliest ever, with a Galaxy Unpacked event on January 17, and the S24 models arriving two weeks later, on January 31. If Samsung shifts the Galaxy S25 Ultra sale date any earlier, the launch event will coincide with CES 2025, an event when Samsung traditionally showcases its TVs and smart home devices. So we'd expect another Galaxy Unpacked event in mid-January, concentrating on Samsung's upcoming phones. This year, Samsung hiked the price of the Galaxy S24 Ultra to $1,299, up from $1,199 for the Galaxy S23 Ultra last year. That appears to rule out a price increase for the Galaxy S25 Ultra, although the cost of premium phones is increasing. Indeed, Analyst Ming-Chi Ko believes that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, slated to power the Galaxy S25 Ultra, will increase the phone's pricing. However, it is still early, and we will most certainly hear more pricing speculations as the end of 2024 approaches. After switching to titanium for the frame of the Galaxy S24 Ultra, we don't expect Samsung to make a change for the S25 edition. Similarly, Samsung has adopted the same basic design for subsequent Ultras, with the camera stacked vertically on the back of the phone with the lenses protruding slightly from the back. We don't expect that to alter, either, but leaked TAD renderings, which are expected to arrive in the coming months, will tell the story. The display size on Samsung's entry-level device will grow to 6.36 inches, up from 6.2 inches on the Galaxy S24. A similar report suggests that the Galaxy S25 Ultra screen will be around 6.9 inches, a slight increase above the 6.8-inch display on the S24 Ultra, although we're not sure how much credence to place in that assertion. Recently, phone manufacturers have been striving to outdo each other by increasing the maximum brightness of their mobile screens. Indeed, Samsung has played this game as well, increasing the maximum brightness of the Galaxy S24 Ultra to 2,600 nits, up from 1,750 nits on the previous model. We wouldn't be shocked if the Galaxy S25 Ultra raised the stakes even more. A recent ICE Universe leak suggests that the Galaxy S25 Ultra would have a curved design, akin to the much maligned Galaxy Note 7. The Galaxy S25 Ultra also looks to be the thinnest Ultra smartphone to date, with a total thickness of 8.4mm, surpassing the Galaxy Note S20 Ultra in this regard. Cameras are the key feature of the Ultra model, as that is the phone Samsung prefers, with a 200 megapixels main sensor and a 100 megapixels space zoom function. We'd anticipate an improvement to that configuration next year, and early Galaxy S25 Ultra camera rumors indicate we could be onto something. The wide-angle lens on the Galaxy S25 Ultra will receive an unnamed update, while the ultra-wide lens will increase from a 12 megapixels sensor on the S24 Ultra to a 50 megapixels sensor on the upcoming phone.
While the camera settings on the ordinary Galaxy S25 and Galaxy S25 Plus may not differ significantly from their predecessors, another Galaxy S25 Ultra camera rumor suggests that the ultra-wide and second telephoto lens sensors might be upgraded to 50 megapixel sensors. That means both of the S25 Ultra's telephoto cameras will have 50 megapixel zoom lenses with 3x and 5x zoom ranges. Given that the Galaxy S24 Ultra used the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor, you would anticipate the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra to employ the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 chipset as well. In fact, this year's Ultra is the only S24 model that uses just Qualcomm hardware, while the basic Galaxy S24 and Galaxy S24 Plus employ the Exynos 2400 system on chip in models marketed outside North America. Qualcomm has previously stated that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 would be released in October, therefore Samsung's phone should be available in early 2025. Early Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 benchmarks have already leaked, and while you should never trust unvetted statistics like that, they do present a positive image of the chipset's performance. According to Geekbench findings, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 equals the highest score achieved by an A18 Bionic-powered iPhone. And sure, those A18 figures have leaked as well, as that processor will not be available until at least the autumn, with the introduction of the iPhone 16. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 is expected to feature a 4.3 GHz Prime Core, up from 3.4 GHz in the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. This is a significant increase in power, and Samsung and Qualcomm will need to find out how to fit such a processor into a mobile device without overheating. The Galaxy S25 Ultra will receive faster USF 4.1 speeds, which might improve the phone's performance even further. It does not appear to be coming to other S25 models, which adds to the appeal of the S25 Ultra. Not only would it be capable of handling on-device AI capabilities, but it also has practical uses, such as the ability to record 4K video straight to a hard drive, similar to the iPhone 15 Pro Max. In terms of battery life, we're not sure how Samsung could include a larger battery than the 5000 mAh unit found in the Galaxy S24 Ultra. We're not too concerned about the Galaxy S25 Ultra battery life because it made our list of the top phone batteries with a 16-hour, 45-minute battery test. However, reports indicate that the S25 Ultra will use the same 5000 mAh battery. We'd like to see Samsung increase the Ultra's wired charging speed beyond the current 45W, but that is less probable. Another report claims that the battery is becoming bigger to accommodate the power drain of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 CPU. So, even if the capacity increases, we may not see a difference in real battery life due to the chipset requirements. Since the original Galaxy Ultra debuted in 2020, each model has had a 5000 mAh battery. However, by upgrading the actual technology in the battery's hardware and the software that regulates the power consumed by the smartphone, each model's endurance has been able to match the required standards. Samsung is rumored to use a 5000 mAh battery in next year's Ultra Smartphone. It will undoubtedly continue to improve its own UI software to provide longer battery life, with rival devices providing higher capacity, such as the OnePlus 12's 5450 mAh or the ROG Phone 8's 5400 mAh, Many may wonder if it's time to boost the battery capacity of the top-tier Galaxy Ultra, which is entering its sixth year. Android 15 will already be available when the Galaxy S25 Ultra arrives, since we are already in the second developer preview for that software update. We expect the Galaxy S25 phones to receive the same 7-year software support as the Galaxy S24. Another assumption of ours is that the Galaxy S25 Ultra will include more Galaxy AI, functions similar to those introduced with the S24 range. There is no news on what those features will be or whether any would be limited to the higher-end Ultra. With the Galaxy S24, all three versions feature the same Galaxy AI functions, meaning the entry-level S24 can perform the same duties as the Premium Ultra. Though it may be too early for you and me to consider the Galaxy S25 Ultra, it's reasonable to assume Samsung has already given much attention to what will go into its next gadget. And we should learn more about such initiatives as the S25 Ultra's debut date in 2025 approaches. So share your thoughts in the comment section. See you in my next video. Goodbye.